Hi everyone, it's Missy, and I have another doll clothes crochet pattern to share with you guys. If you want to have the pattern as a printed form that you can read, you can find it on the Red Heart website. I will have a link to the pattern in the description box below. But it's the Aloha Hula Doll, and to do it, I had to purchase a special yarn, simply because I wanted the grass skirt to be as authentic as possible, and I really like the yarn they used in the pattern. So this is the yarn they did recommend in the pattern. It is a Red Heart Scrubby. This is lime green. I just purchased it today as I'm fil filming the video, because I didn't even know it was still in stores anymore. And it was, and it comes in all various different colors. I'm just using the lime green because I thought it, the grass skirt, it really looked cool on that. But this is the yarn that they use to make dish cloths. So it, it might be in a separate section in your store. It wasn't with the regular yarn um, when I looked at Walmart. It was with the specialty yarn um, with the dish cloth pattern books. So um, just... Check it out, and if you do not have this yarn, you can use regular yarn. Worsted weight is what we're using for this project. I'm also using a light pink. This is a worsted weight yarn, or a medium number four, and this is going to be for the top of the dress that we're making. Um, you will also need to have a size I9 hook. Uh, this will be determined upon gauge. Um, for your gauge you're going to need to have 12 single crochets equals 14, 4 inches and 15 rows of single crochet stitches will equal 4 inches. So if you can do that with the eye crochet hook you're all set to go. Uh, for those of you who live outside the United States, an I9 crochet hook is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook because I get asked that sometimes. And then of course you're going to need a pair of scissors. So to get started we're going to start with the pink yarn. I'm just going to make a slip knot to do that. And just make a loop. Put the yarn behind the loop. Then I insert my hook to bring that up. Pull a knot and we are ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is chain 35 stitches. To chain you just wrap your yarn over the hook and pull that loop through and that's one chain. We're going to do it again. Oops. And that's two chains. So So that's about what your chain stitches should look like. I know I'm on a white background. There you go. Now you can see. So that's 5. I need 30 more. So when I have all my chain stitches done, I will come back. Alright, so I have all my 35 chain stitches completed, so our next step is to work on row 1. Now row 1 is going to be the wrong side of our project. So just to keep in mind that the wrong side is what gets folded in, or the inside of the dress, the part that you're not going to see. So what I'm going to do is single crochet in the second chain from hook to do that. I just count, so this is my first chain, this is my second chain, so I just insert my hook, yarn over, pull that yarn through the chain stitch, so there's two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over again, and pull through both of those loops, and that makes a single crochet. Alright, so that is one. Now I'm going to single crochet in each remaining chain stitch across. So I just go right into my next chain stitch, yarn over, pull the loop through the chain, so there's two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through those loops. And so that's my second chain. So I'm just going to keep, or that's my second single crochet, I'm just going to keep single crocheting across until I have my 34 and then I'll come back and show you how to do row 2. Okay, so I got my 34 single crochet stitches finished for row 1. I'm just going to turn my work. And now the right side of our project is facing us. And we're just going to chain 1, so yarn over, pull it through the loop on your hook, that's chain 1. And then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across. So we'll have another total of 34 single crochets for row 2. So I'm just going to insert my hook into the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull through, so there's two loops on my hook, 
yarn over and pull through those two loops. So I got my first single crochet, I'll single crochet all the way across, and then I'll come back and when it we're when I'm done and I'm ready to go on to row three. Okay, so I have my row two completed. I just turned my work. And then for row three, we're just repeating row two where we chain one and then we single crochet in each stitch across. And that's going to be the same for rows 4 through 10 as well. So by the time you've reached row 10, you should still have 34 single crochet stitches in each row. So I'm just going to go through and complete row 10 and then come back when I'm ready to do row 11 to give you guys the next set of instructions. Okay, so once you get your 10 rows done, that completes the bottom of your top. So the right side is facing, so look, this would be on the bottom of the doll around her waist. And now we're ready to move on to the left back. So for row 11, I'm just turning my work. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to single crochet in the first six stitches. Alright, so once you've completed those six stitches, we are ready to move on to row 12. So we're just leaving these rest of these unworked. So I'm just going to turn my work. And we're just going to focus on these six stitches. And the first thing I'm going to do is basically repeat row 11. I'm just going to chain one. And I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across. And of course, we'll have six stitches, single crochets, when we have finished. And then for row 13 through 17, you just repeat row 12. You're just going to turn your work, chain one, and single crochet in each stitch across. So you'll have a total of six single crochet stitches in each row. Now I'm just going to keep working on this off camera until I have finished row 17. Now at the end of row 17 we're going to fasten off but I'll show you how to do that. So I've completed row 17 of the left back and to fasten off all I do is I leave a tail of yarn. I'm going to leave a longer one so I can use it for sewing later on and then I just yarn over and pull the whole yarn tail through that loop. Now your project's fastened off. The stitches aren't going to unravel and you are ready to move on to the right back. Now the pattern says, referring to the photo for placement, attach A to first single crochet of row 11. Why they say that I do not know. What they really want you to do is turn your project to the other side where we haven't, so we have all these unworked stitches, okay? They want you to make a slip knot like we did in the beginning and attach this yarn to the first single crochet stitch of row 10. Um, why they say row 11 I'm unsure, but I'm just going to go th right through that top of the first single crochet stitch. And I'm going to do a slip stitch, so I'm just going to yarn over and pull that yarn through all the loops on my hook. Now my yarn is attached and I'm ready to go. And all they're saying is that we're going to repeat rows 11 and 17 on the left back. So row 11 again was you chain one, you single crochet in the first six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like we did before. We're going to relieve all these other stitches unworked for now. I did weave in my tail as I went. You don't have to do that. You can always weave in your tails after your project's done. And I'm going to turn my work, go on to row 12, where again we're just going to chain one, single crochet in each stitch across, and we're going to repeat that all the way through row 17. And then when we finish row 17, we'll, we just fasten off. 
So I am just going to finish the right back and come back when we're going to do the front of our top of the dress. Alright, I put a darker background um, behind here, so hopefully you guys can see this better. Um, I know you've been making comments about how the camera's blurry and I don't have adequate lighting and so forth, so I'm trying to do some experimentation to figure out what how I should set up my table when I film. Um, anyway, I finished row 17 of the right back and I fastened off my yarn and now we're ready to do the front. So I'm just having my piece laid out here. What I'm going to do is take and make another slip knot because I need to attach this yarn in row 10 but I want to do it in the sixth stitch that we have unworked so that's the first stitch, second stitch, third stitch, four, five, six. So I want to put my hook through that sixth stitch I'm making a slip stitch to attach my yarn and now we're ready to begin the front. So this is row 11 again and I want to first chain one and then I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch that I attached my yarn and then I want to single crochet in the next 11 stitches. So I'm just working down Weaving my tail as I go. For those of you who are curious on how you do that, you just lay your tail, your yarn tail, over the top of the stitches. And then when I'm inserting my hook, I'm just inserting it right into that stitch. And then I'm just pulling my yarn through. But the trick is, is instead of catching this yarn, you have to pull your hook all the way through. Go and grab your working yarn and then pull through those loops. And by doing so, I'm basically sandwiching my yarn tail in between the stitch. When I get to the end and I only have a little bit of tail left, I just pull it so it's longer. Complete my last stitch, which is my 12th stitch, and then I just pull on the project to bring that yarn tail back inside all those stitches. And because I've completed my 12th stitch, I should have, if I'm lucky, five unworked single crochet stitches between my front and my left back. And counting I do, so I did get my front centered perfectly. I'm just going to turn my project now, and I am ready to do row 12. To do row 12, all I do is I chain one and single crochet in each stitch across. So I will have 12 single crochet stitches. And I'll come back once I have finished row 12. So I have completed row 12, and now we're going to start making that v-neck of the top of the dress. To do this, I'm just going to turn my work, get ready to do row 13. I'm just going to chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet in the first six stitches. Alright, and then I'm just going to lay these last six stitches unworked. I'm going to turn my project again and I'm ready to start on row 14. I'm just going to chain one and then it says skip the first single crochet stitch and stitch in the remaining five single crochets. So that first stitch right here, I'm going to skip that and I'm just going to move right onto the second one. Single crochet right into that. Now I've completed my five stitches, I can turn my project 
I'm ready to move on to row 15. So on row 15, I'm going to chain one, and then it says to single crochet in the first five stitches, which is the only stitches that we really have in this project. And the reason why is because this chain that we made does not count as a stitch. So once I have those five in, I'm ready to do row 16. I'm just going to chain one. And again, we're going to skip that first stitch and single crochet in the remaining four stitches. Turn our work, chain one, and single crochet again four times. Turn our work again, we're on row 18, we chain one, we're going to skip that first stitch and single crochet three times. And we finish out our project with row 19, we chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the three stitches of row 18. And then all we do is we fasten off. The directions suggest leaving a long tail to sew with. So I'm going to do that. And there we have it. So we have that V created with, it's like a trapezoid kind of shape. Um, so when we bring this over the left back, we just line it up. And then we sew these together. And we're going to leave this part alone because that's going to be where we can fasten our back together on the doll. That's how we would fasten the top together. So either by a snap, a button, hook and loop tape, that's your choice. But we are going to move on now to the right front side because we haven't quite finished the top yet. So I'm going to make a slip knot. There we go. Okay, once you have your slip knot, we're going to flip our project and I'm going to attach the yarn into the very first stitch of row 12 of the front. And again, we're doing this with a slip stitch. And then we're basically repeating rows 13 and 19 of the left front where we're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in the first six stitches. So this is a little interesting because we do have a single crochet in the seventh stitch. But we're just going to go like that and it's just not going to connect. And all we're going to do is turn our work chain one, and this is where we skip our first stitch. So all we have are five stitches in row 14. So I'm just going to finish off the front top um, simply because you can just rewind the video and watch how I did the front left portion and be able to finish it just fine with that. Um, so once I finish row 19, I will again fasten off the yarn, and then I will show you again how we should sew it together. Okay, so I finished all my crocheting for the top. I took the time also to weave in my stitches. I have the wrong side of the project facing up, and I am ready to sew the shoulder seams together. So I'm just going to take my left side, fold it over, and match up the stitches on top. I'm using a tapestry needle. And I am just going to uh, whip stitch these together. So it's not going to take me too long because I only have to sew three stitches together. Once you have that done, 
you should have an armhole opening. I'm just going to do it one more time. Because I have a long enough tail here. And then the wrong side of the project is on the inside, so I'm just going to poke my needle through and weave in the end. So to weave in the end, I just go up through the stitches that I just whip stitched, come back down through, I just kind of go back and forth a few times just so that way the seam holds and the tail of my yarn doesn't come out. Especially when you're going to have a child playing with it and taking the clothes on and off the doll, it will make the tails open up. So that is the one side completed. I will finish the other side. Now the instructions have said to do snaps, like you sew, sew snaps down the back. And then you can just have um, the, them lay over and you can do it that. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing is sewing a button up on top here because then you can just go in between the stitches, kind of pull this apart, and this can be your button loop. And I find that easier than sewing snaps onto crocheted pieces simply because of the thick yarn. So otherwise you can take your sewing machine even and sew like hook and loop tape down both edges so that way you just um, velcro them shut. Um, other than that, I will come back once I have this uh, sewn together so that way you can see how to do the grass skirt. Okay, so I have my top all sewn together and now I am ready to do the fringe. Now, to do the grass fringe, you just take your yarn, you measure 14 inches and fortunately for me I have like a little measuring pad right here and then once you get 14 inches which is um, for you that have metric that would be 35 and a half centimeters but you want to get at least four of them together for each um, stitch so you're going to be cutting 136 of these and then to get them attached to the top you go back to your foundation chain and I'm just putting my hook through the bottom's most stitch like so all right so that's the bottom most stitch of I'm taking all four strands grouping them together and I'm placing them over my hook and then I'm just pulling them through that stitch now it's going to be tight if you're a tight stitcher like me but once you get them through like so and pull them up just a little bit sure all four are there. They are. All I'm going to do then is take my fingers, grab the rest of the bunch, and loop it through. Just like so. And then all you have to do is just pull this tight. And that will hold them in place. So you don't have to tie a knot or anything. And then you'll have your grass strands and it's okay if they're uneven, but if you want to, you can even them up when you have put all of them in. Um, but it, it you just go through from one stitch to the next, and you just pull the grass strands through just like I did, and go all the way across. And once you've done that, you have basically completed your project. Again, just choose the fastener that you want for the back, and your doll has a hula dress. So I am going to try to get um, to the lay and the flower wristlet and the headband in a later video. Um, I still need to get some supplies. I found out I don't have any yellow yarn. So I'm going to try to find some because I really like their co color combination. And then also you need to have 21 mini white pony beads. I don't have those on hand so I'm going to have to get those as well. Um, I'm also going to try to get back into one of the other video series of crocheting that I did not finish. Um, I'm hoping to get going with this again because I've gotten so many questions from you guys of when I'm going to have more doll clothes videos. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!